Will McGillis will lead things off. McGillis had a nice return to the lineup. The off speed more consistently than the fastball. And it is a walk drawn by Braylon Wimmer. Chase off the outside corner. And he gets Petri on the 2-2 breaking ball. 1-2. That is a called third strike. He gets the corner again to conclude the top of the first in the ACC. Heading into the tournament, and he strikes out here. Hits this one over towards Braswell to play. Oh, he's safe. They say Costas was off the bag. Just let it ride and let your team get out of it. First pitch swinging. This one is over the head of Costas at first. It's a fair ball. It'll be extra bases, making the turn past third and then slipping and having to head back is Peebles. So it'll be second and third with two down. It's a long one for Braswell. It's a long one for Petri and then Peebles. And he was slowing down anyway, wisely. Chase Nixon swings at the first pitch, hits this one out towards center field, heading back near the track, but making the catch. It was Will Tippett. Then get out. Wow, what a curveball by Willitson. 0 oh, 2. Another strikeout for Willitson. He struck out for the last five batters. Pops this one up, a diving catch made by Braylon Wimmer for out number two. Crowd certainly appreciates it, and Braylon Wimmer needed all six foot four inches and whatever that wingspan is. The bottom of the order as a whole struggled yesterday, and their struggles continue today. One, two, three. You go the Wolf Pack. There's the 2-2. Two, two. Into Brewer, swing and a miss, and it's another strikeout for Willison. It's really going to help his day. And it's a walk. I do not believe so. 0-1. Oh, Hit out towards left field, going back, and it is gone! A two-run home run by Braylon Wimmer has given South Carolina a two-to-nothing lead, 13th of the year for Wimmer. It's a fastball elevated right over the plate and Braylon Wimmer hits it through the wind it's in the low 70s with some movement a shot to left it'll drop for a base hit and Petri wins that battle Willitson set and it's another base runner to get the last out here Lee Croy swings at the first pitch. Going to be a tough play for Harrison. And he got him. I'm telling you, I'm like a fan watching from my couch. Line drive from Peyton Green for Noah Souls. One, two. Ground ball right into the teeth of it. Two down. Three, one. Hit sharply. Right to Lee Croy, and he makes the throw, and the Wolfpack are done. And this will be a drop third strike. Breaking ball, popped in the air towards center, and Candelaria, who makes the catch. Set to deliver, pitch 42. Called third strike. He gets Cozart looking. Call third strike. Nixon goes down, and the Wolfpack are down. And that is a call third strike. 
on Tippett. 0 for 8, second time, 2 for 7 with two walks. Hit sharply out to left, it'll drop, and this will be extra bases. And it'll be a double for Will McGillis. As we take a look here, prior to that at bat, this is a warning that was issued to the South Carolina dugout because of the chirping that Roddy had talked about. As Carson Kelly joining the fray. Oh, and McGillis got picked off. And that's out number two. Turn, and it, the throw was right on the bag. 3-2 from Willitson on the way. And that is off the plate, and it's a two-out walk. To be on time for a high 80s fastball. 3-1, and that's ball four. 3-2, make it five. Two down. And it is another walk as Wimmer comes in to score. It's three to nothing, South Carolina. Has a double and a triple, along with an RBI for the Red Sox tonight. That ball gets away, but nobody advances. Thought you'd have gotten that a little bit earlier. Two one, lined in the right, it'll drop for a base hit. This will play a couple. And the lead extends for South Carolina. It is five to nothing as Petri and Messina score. Plays much more into the hands of South Carolina. You get a fastball coming over the top. And he pops this one towards center, giving chases. Candelaria can't get it. It bounces away. Lee Croy will head in to score. And the problems continue. It is six nothing. Three two to Brewer, and he strikes out, and that finally brings the curtain down. Three two pitch. This one's playable. A tough play for Wimmer, and it's over the head of Casas at first base. But Candelaria will stay put. Let's get back in this one. Chopper towards Broswell, steps on the back for one, the relay in time. It's a double play. As McGillis hits this one towards shallow left center, it'll drop. And he's got another hit. This is where the trouble has lied for the Wolfpack, but not there. Peyton Green strikes out. It's easy when you're in the dugout. It's hard when 95 miles an hour is coming or a changeup that ends up. 1-0, hits sharply, and that will drop for a hit. One on, two down, one, two. In the left field, off the glove of Lee Croy, and that is a base hit. Back-to-back -back hits for the Wolfpack since the first. Lined over the glove of Braswell in the right field. And a play at the plate. Groover slides head first safely. And NC State is on the board with an RBI single. First pitch swinging, this one hit towards the gap out in left center, and it'll drop. This will be extra bases. And it'll play a couple here for NC State. And the Wolfpack draw closer. It is a two-run double for Chase Nixon, 6-3. Groover has really distinguished himself here in this regional, and a strikeout recorded of Candelaria Mahoney. Done a nice job around that. 2-2, two, two, dropped in the left for a base hit. Hey, you're not even my favorite Casas. Gavin's my favorite. 3-2, <laughs> in the center for a base hit. Lee Croy makes the turn towards third. He's in safely. 
And another hit. 3-2. Over to third for Groover. He'll make the throw and able to beat it in time as Lee Croy to make it a 7-3 game. He got underneath the tag. Let's see if... Oh, I'm not sure his foot touched. I think the foot of Kozar may have prevented him from touching the plate. Wow. It's going to be I, close. 100% make it out. Here's a good look. Here. Yeah, but the foot is blocking our view of, of. And he is out. Lee Croy out at home plate. What a fantastic job done. 3-2. Called third strike. And the defense steps up once more. Hit the baseball pretty well for coming in this season. Full count pitch. Hit into the hole in the left field. If it's in your arsenal, now be the time to break it out. 1-0 into the hole in right field. To Marcy. Ground ball. Over to short, the flip for one and two. A double play to conclude the bottom of the seventh inning. Rally with the three one, and that misses a little low. The one two, Petri goes around. It's a drop third strike. He's thrown out. Here in the bottom of the eighth. Ground ball gets by Wimmer at short in the left. And once again, Groover is on. 2-0 over to Casas for one. And in time, it's a double play. 2-2 called third strike for Eli Jones. 3-2 to Messina. Did he go around? He did not. It's a leadoff walk. Man, it's that time of year. Auburn already eliminated. Here's two. And Halford gets Casas. Chase Nixon. Two-run double, last time up. He's got a single here. He's a leadoff base runner for the Wolfpack. One for three on the day. 0-2. Oh, Chopped, could be two. One, not two this time. 2-2. Two, two. This will drop into center field. It's another hit for the Wolfpack, and that will bring on the tying run. 2-1. Chopped. Over to third. Lee Croy with the throw. It is in time. Hit towards center field. And the catch is made by Tippett. And South Carolina is on their way to the regional final. Noon Eastern. It will be an elimination game and a rematch of the opener between NC State and Campbell.